If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? Benezia was swept up in events beyond her control and lost herself. She fell under the spell of indoctrination and became part of the very thing she wanted to stop. But I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Are you gonna be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. So you'll have sex with anything? Now you... The, we, we then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary. That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what'd you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract. But I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. Huh. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? 
For two days, I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, I had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it. I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious, but if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. You're smarter than you look, Rex. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. Not yet, anyway. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating him? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. But they're not as bad as the psycho. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear-cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab, hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. 
<laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Good thinking. Lackeys are always easier to scare. Exactly. Though in this case it paid off in a different way. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salian's employees. They were test tubes, walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He paid them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Well, you can't get them all. No, but... letting him get away like that... All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Other elves who flare up. You ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. 
And it'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Kinetic subsidiary. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. Did he ever face charges for that? He got his, yeah. But like everything else at Jump Zero, it was under the table. The less said, the better. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some troubling information, Commander. We need your help. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? All four scientists worked on a classified project on the coups. There was a brutal massacre there years ago. An entire unit was killed by Thresher Maws. It was classified as a natural hazard. But the project dates coincide with the attacks. You think these scientists had something to do with the attack? I'm not certain what I think, but it's worth investigating. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out.
I'm on my way. Contact!
Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! It's Corporal! Corporal Toombs! You don't get to lie! Not today! Today it all comes out! What all comes out? I'm listening, but I need you to put that gun down. You don't understand. I don't want to kill anyone. I, I want to go to sleep without screaming in my dreams. I want the people who sent me to Akuz brought to justice. Can't you see the Tombs is crazy? Shoot him! But if I can't get that, I'll have to settle for killing the men who took my life away. What did the doctor do to you, Corporal? We were on a coos. When the Thresher Maws hit, my entire unit was wiped out. The Thresher Maws. The scientists were studying them. They let them hit our unit just to watch. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What kind of tests are we talking about? You can't believe Toombs! He doesn't have any proof! I demand a fair trial! Ever had Thresher Maw acid in your veins? I have. They wanted to see what it would do. They treated me like a lab animal. I only escaped because somebody destroyed Cerberus, their big organization. This is justice. This man deserves to die. So, are you going to kill me or not? You're better than this, Toombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me what I am! Nobody knows who I am! Those bastards took it all away. They ran their tests until I screamed. Until I cried. I couldn't remember my own name half the time. I should be dead, like my unit. I'm nothing. Why am I too good to murder him? You put on a uniform, Corporal. You swore an oath. Don't let them take that from you. Hadn't thought of it like that. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toome seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. Thank you again for your assistance, Commander. Fifth lead out. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. 
I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Salion. What? My name is Hart! Dr. Hart! Please, get me out of here! Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me! Take him in, drop him off at the military. But we have him. We can't let him get away. Not again. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh. Thank you so very much. And so he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus. But you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here.
Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. 
Exo Presley has the deck. I thought I was dead when they took me. Contamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved.
on it.
must die! It's all so beautiful. Can you see it? Message coming in. Patching it through. Good work, Commander. You took down the biotics with minimal collateral damage. I'm sorry we lost some of the researchers, Admiral. The biotics knew what they were doing. Nobody could have gotten out of there with fewer innocent lives lost. You saved a lot of lives today, Commander. Fifth fleet out. signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? 
When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled, but I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. Fifth Fleet out.
Mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. Smells like ambush, Skipper. I agree. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. Your grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Aye, aye. Shepard, at last. You caused the cave-in? What's the meaning of this? My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed, failed because of you, your damnable holding action. It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead woman. Goodbye, Shepard. What do we do now, Commander? We've got air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out.
Just lead the way. Let's get moving.
Just lead the way.
Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Those men deserve to die. Now are we gonna have a problem? Not if I can help it, Commander. I hope you can see that I am by far a lesser evil than those men. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. There will be no drugs and no slave-taking for the Batarians. Those days are over. This gang has a reputation for drugs and slaving. It's too late to change that. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps this organization has been so tainted by those two idiots that it cannot be redeemed. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. <laughs>